Sometimes I hate listening to myself talk. <laughs> but good morning. It is Saturday and I'm like still in bed. I've gotten out of bed. I've came back to bed. And it's just kind of been a back and forth situation. Um, I'm exhausted and I went to bed early last night, but I'm just like filling it today. Um, it's loud. It's a Saturday. Um, but I am sitting in bed right now. I'm editing a caffeine and crime, uh, YouTube video. Actually, um, it was supposed to go up yesterday. I'm editing it now first thing this morning so I can get it up today. It is on the Winchester mystery house. I don't think I mention it too often here on the vlog channel, but I do have a podcast caffeine and crime it is a youtube channel and a podcast my current season is only on podcast platforms but it's literally like tons of pop or podcast platforms you can listen to on spotify apple google anchor different places like that um and it's spooky season where i kind of take a break from true crime and just talk about like paranormal haunted you know places um, so that is what I'm doing on the podcast right now. And then on YouTube, I'm uploading past seasons as actual videos now. So they have like visuals and photos and, um, I, t you know, it's the same podcast. I tell the story, but you actually get to like watch something. So yeah, um, once a week I've been trying to upload one true crime and I'm currently doing season two, which was serial killer season. So if you're into true crime and you like that type of stuff, it is like, you know, very graphic, detailed, so beware of that. But um, you can check that out. But I'm also doing another season on YouTube right now, which is spooky season from last year. So you get two episodes a week on YouTube. It's been a lot to keep up with, but I'm really trying. I'm trying to get through these two, and then I think I'm just going to stick to one season on YouTube at a time, <laughs> at least for now. Um or when the new year starts. So yeah, I'm trying to finish out both season two and season four on YouTube this month. So yeah, that is what I'm currently doing. I will show you guys Buddy and stuff like that in a minute. Um, but today's vlog might be short because I don't know. I'm just like, oh, today. I just don't. I don't think I'm going to like do any makeup. Um... We may end up doing like some more decorations around the house. I need to finish it. I really want the totes in the garage by Monday. So I may try to do like as much as I can with decorations. Maybe put a few things outside. We will see. But yeah, this vlog might be a little boring. I hope you guys are having a great December so far though. And I hope these have been somewhat entertaining for you. There he is. I think he was trying to remind us that we need to be keeping up with our advent calendar. Okay. okay. Who you think so? Okay. Yeah. I, I, know. I know who it is. I just put number four Axel, on there. Axel, are you playing Fortnite? I put number four on there by myself. You put number four on there? Okay. Good sister. So take turns and make sure we start keeping up with it. We're going to take two. <laughs> Axel's playing Fortnite and Roman is doing crafts that are getting out of control. <laughs> That is a lot of paper, row. It is everywhere. I've been working on everything. I know. <laughs> okay, so from Sephora, I picked up a few things. Um, the first biggest thing that I wanted to get, which are teeny tiny little minis, is the Rare View... Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush Trio. These are just mini liquid blushes, but they're in those shades. I'm gonna get them out and show you. They're, I love the packaging is like the standard, like regular Rare Beauty packaging though, just in minis. I think that is so adorable, but these are the three shades. So we have Hope, Bliss, and Peace. That's the three shades there. Kind of like a peachy color and then pink and just kind of more like a neutral. I used the shade Hope in my look from yesterday. This was the blush I was wearing. It's really pretty. 
I mainly picked up minis, I'm not gonna lie. I did pick up this like little mini Charlotte Tilbury. I have been wanting to try this for so long, but I can't bring myself to buy the full size without trying it first because oh, it's so damn expensive. But it's just the press setting powder. I'm wanting to try it out. I'm more of like a loose setting powder person. So I'm like, I'm just gonna try out the mini first, but you can actually buy this mini on Sephora if you're interested. It's been out of stock for so long, so it just came back into stock. So I got those two, um, of course, like some different little samples. But my points, I got this teeny tiny melt lipstick. Again, this whole order is just teeny tiny products. Is that not the tiniest lipstick you have ever seen? Look how little this guy is. That shade is beautiful. Um, it is 710... Yeah, 710. That's all it says. It doesn't really say like another name. Oh, it smells so good. I'm so excited to try that shade though. Beautiful. And I've never tried their lipstick, so I'm excited. And then while I was there, that ended up being all I picked up because I just, I don't know. I was so back and forth. Everything that I was adding to my cart, I already have so many of. So I just grabbed those. But while I was at it for my birthday, I went ahead and picked up my birthday present from them this year they had this or i think like a laneige set i went ahead and went with the nars i mean this is probably laguna yep i have laguna 10 times over at this point but it is kind of in their new packaging just their standard bronzer um but i was really intrigued by this i think it's like a lip balm okay i cannot see what that says it is like the tiniest writing ever but i want to say this is just a lip balm but like again kind of like the melt cosmetics this will focus kind of like the melt cosmetics it's like this brown hue oh, it's so beautiful i cannot wait to try that out but it's actually a cute little set like birthday set usually i'm so torn on like if i actually like the birthday sets or not like is it worth it to place an order and get my birthday present you know it's that type of ordeal so yeah i also picked up the kvd epic curl um lash primer and i just used this for the first time i don't really know how to feel about this one just yet it kind of just looks like a st it feels like a standard mascara that you're putting on um and then after i put my mascara over it i felt like i would have just gotten the same results if i just layered my mascara so i'm like is it worth it i don't know you guys can check it out if you want to it's in my one of my latest youtube videos i'll link it up above for you um i believe it was in the look yesterday is what and is when I use this product as well. So yeah, go check out that. I also got this little lighthearted broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen from Sunday Riley, which is cool to try out. I love Sunday Riley. Um, that's about it from Sephora. I just don't really shop much through Sephora, but with Ulta, I picked up not only, um, zit patches, which are already in my bathroom. Um, but I also picked up a couple foundations from Flower Beauty. I love this one so much. It's so good. I just needed a lighter shade. So this is the lightest one now in the shade. Where is it at? I think it's like Shell or something like that. Yes, Shell. Um, it's like the slightest difference. <laughs> but I can actually wear it like even in the winter when my skin is just like albino um and then the get real serum foundation which i'm so excited to try out i haven't tried this one yet but i've heard really good things i like this one but you definitely get more coverage and for day to day i don't really go for that as much so i'm thinking this would be more of like a day to day but i wanted to have a nice foundation to depend on and that i like especially if i'm having skin problems or anything and i'm needing to cover up more if i have somewhere to go but yeah i'm really excited to try this one out stay tuned to my beauty channel because i'll be doing first impressions wear test on that for sure and then also i picked up this i couldn't pass on it i forgot how much it was i want to say it was like 40 ish 40 ish dollars um but this is ariana grande's perfume I love doing fragrance blogs. I love fragrance so much. I have never tried any of hers. So when I seen this kit of five, I was like, why not? Like they're minis, they're teeny, teeny, tiny, but they're actually cute. I hate usually minis just come in like the travel size, like just round glass jars, you know what I'm saying? Or like the slender, like 
yeah where it's like you don't really get the full-on packaging moment where with these you do i can say the lids just pop off and then it just like pours out you know you don't have a sprayer on these but you still do get the cute bottle for all of them. So yeah, I'm not gonna say too much about it. You guys will have to stay tuned for my blogs. I'll be doing blogs on each of these and I'll let you guys know the tea on Ariana Grande perfume. <laughs> I am a big KKW fragrance stan. I don't care if it's from a Kardashian, like I freaking love her fragrance so much. So I'm gonna see how these stand up to those. While I am at it, I picked up a few things from Old Navy. I bought a sweater from Old Navy a couple of months ago and fell in love with it. Like, I love this sweater so much. It's so comfortable that I picked up some more. This is the sweater I wore yesterday. Like, I'm pretty sure... Did I, get, I can't remember. Did I get this package yesterday or the day before? I can't remember, um, but I just could not wait to wear this sweater, and I absolutely love it. The sliding is a little off. It's very, like, chartreuse. I freaking love the sweater so much. Um, I also got this black sweater because out of all the black clothes that I have, I was like, I don't have just a black sweater. So... I really like it. I end up not going completely black. I found this one that has like little white bits all through it, but I just think it is so, so cute. And yeah, I cannot wait to wear it. I did size up on this one too. Cause I was like, I want that baggier fill. Um, and I can even just like wear it with leggings. And then I got like a, like a three pack of like just sports bras. I'm always needing a good like little bralette to wear around the house. Um, comfy, but I did get the wrong size. What else is new? <laughs> Every time I buy a bralette, I swear I get the wrong size. And then the last thing is this beautiful green. It's kind of, again, kind of hard to see the color in this. I wanna try to get better at taking photos of myself, hopefully um, in the near future and start doing more like outfits of the day. I've really been into my style lately so yeah I want to start doing that more but it is just a like t-shirt dress I absolutely love it and I think with like some Doc Martin boots um that type of vibe I'm like really here for it so yeah but I thought I'd just show you some of the things that I have been or that I've hauled recently um my other stuff has just been books that I've got off of Amazon and sent to my Kindle. Um, I did a couple of those for my birthday. And again, the Apple Watch I showed you guys that James got me for my birthday. And I also ordered some more of my like little Canon printer photo paper. I had to order some more of that. So the things you get for yourself for your birthday when you're an adult. <laughs> finally making the chicken legs that I talked about earlier this week. I'm just going to put some paprika, salt and pepper on them and bake them. 